And good evening to you, Southern Spanish Fair on the football menu tonight. Our venue is the Ramon Sanchez Piquan Stadium in Seville. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It's Inter facing Porto. Well, the first game of the group is so vital, you just can't get off to a losing start. This could be a tight battle today, Derek. Starting lineup: Milan Skriniar plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays with Henrik Mkhitaryan in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Romelu Lukaku. starting lineup for Porto well it's great to see them playing with the front two but for it to work they need to have a good understanding they need to link up with each other and provide a different set of skills It's the opening match day, Champions League group stage, match day one, underway. Mehdi Tarami. And here's Galeno. A real opening now. Oh dear, oh dear, the goal was at his mercy. Tame effort. Skriniar. Well, so many reasons to highlight Lautaro Martinez, not least because he can be so effective. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him in this game? Well, at the moment, he's playing with great confidence. Every time he gets to the ball, he looks like scoring. Three goals in the last three games, and I'm expecting a similar performance again today. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Steven Eustachio. An attack full of promise. As eyes for goal, and the keeper did more than enough. Played over. Can he finish? And a goal! One nil, and what a fast start they've made to this game. When you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. And the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Mateo Suribe. Nicely timed tackle. Tremendous ball played through. Firing it in. And it goes to square the game. What a contest this is turning out to be. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And then Lukaku's finish is brilliant. 
He strikes the ball so cleanly and gives the keeper no time to react. It's a really good goal. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Lovely ball over the top. It might be on for them. Very quick thinking there. with acres of space out wide Martinez superbly read and executed and very deftly cut out that'll be a Porto throw in Mehdi Karami. And quite simply, a wonderful chance was squandered. Chalanolu. Di Marco. On to Mkhitaryan. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. taken short and he takes it on there it is a fantastic goal and no wonder he's off celebrating well here's another look at it certainly delivery into the box couldn't have been any better but the keeper should do better with his near post that's gone in far too easily that's not good goalkeeping Just the challenge that was required. Martinez. The ball with Ottavio. Well, he's given it away. Well, inching towards the break. Inter in front here. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen from them? Well, it's been a good watch so far. Lukaku! Save. Great goalkeeping. Firing it towards goal. And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. So back underway at 3-1. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Galeno. Paremi. Eva Nilsson. And there's the whistle. The first half action comes to an end here at the Estadio Ramon Sanchez Pituan. Well, Romelu Lukaku is having a terrific match for himself out there. A true handful, Stuart. Well, he's looked sharp, hasn't he? Yes, he scored a good goal, but his general play has been excellent. I've enjoyed watching him today. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. And the challenge halts them in their tracks.
promising sequence. Terrific block. They've regained possession. Now can they make something happen? That's a routine take. Martinez. Will he play it in? And as a play it goes, throw in coming up here. Well, they've decided to make a change. And into the last 30 minutes now. Really good challenge. What can they do from here? Firing is in. Well, straight at the goalkeeper then. Could be a chance to break here. Well, not to be in terms of the counter-attack. Mateus Uribe. Well, not the best clearance. Danger averted for now. was in the right place to intercept well that takes the wind out of their sails great defending illegal play and hence a free kick substitution time it is here Struggling to get it away. Well, they survived the attack. An unforced error, you've got to say. This is looking threatening. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Matteo Damian. It's with Milan Skriniar. Barella. Romelu Lukaku now. Very quick thinking there. Evan Nilsson. Grujic. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, it was such a fluent attack, but they couldn't apply that finishing touch. Well, not the finish he was looking for, but there's another example of their ability on the counter-attack. Well, really closing him down. Chances on. Can he convert? Terrific save. Well, that's a top-class save. He read it so well. Trying to really get at the opposition here. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. It's got to be! And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Played over, and the problem not completely solved. So full time it is, and a morale boosting three points on the board to begin their European campaign. Well, you always want to get off to a good start, and that's exactly what they've done here. Now they can look forward to the next game. They're in a great position. Not impossible to ask footballers to produce magic every single game, and it didn't quite happen for him tonight.
Well, he didn't have his best game, but he still played a part in the team's victory. He certainly made a contribution.